From his lifelong retreat, the great Bodhisattva Alu presents an insightful elucidation of the dissolution process and its profound implications within Buddhist teachings, especially regarding the heightened clarity that consciousness attains at the moment of death. At this critical juncture, perception sharpens to reveal the intricate dynamics of conditionality in action. Conditionality serves as the necessary environment for any potential result to arise. Like soil nurturing the seed's growth, the accumulated interconnected information from imprints of past actions emerges as conditions. These imprints, like seeds, carry the resonance of their originating actions and are deeply intertwined with the consequences those actions set in motion, how they have influenced others and impacted the world. In this way, Recursive experience arises from seeds of imprints bound to broader consequences as conditions. These foundational elements reveal the path that every individual inevitably travels, a profound interconnectedness that binds experience to actions, thoughts and core emotions upon outcomes and their effects. In light of these teachings, a scientific lens might draw comparisons to quantum theory where karmic imprints resemble a form of informational entanglement, interconnected and multilayered across one's psyche. Much like quantum information, these imprints are both local and expansive, reaching beyond individual influence. Just as entangled particles reflect each other's states instantly over vast distances, karmic imprints retain their coherence across time and space surfacing as emotional responses that hold the essence of one's accumulated actions. These imprints create the outline of our self, carrying the impact of our actions and transcending any single moment. Each action, thought and emotion forms a web of connections, a fabric of information that reflects our intentions as vividly as any pattern in nature or science. In this way, each moment of perception builds on the last, shaped by the relationship between what we see and how we experience it. And so, each new moment carries the momentum of the one before, reminding us that nothing is fixed and everything is part of an ongoing flow. At this stage, consciousness can be seen as entering a recursive loop, continuously recreating a sense of self that aligns with a profound inherent morality. This is not morality as we commonly understand it. Instead, it is a morality inseparable from higher awareness, demonstrating the highest accord with the elevated functioning of consciousness itself. Analogous to quantum superposition, which the great Bodhisattva Alu has boldly predicted will see breakthroughs in science within this very decade. These advances, he foresees, will help us understand how patterns of behaviour and emotion remain in a state of potential, waiting to emerge when certain conditions arise fully. This is most profound during the heightened awareness of death's transition, when all our deeply rooted tendencies and habits are revealed in their entirety. As the body undergoes dissolution, the mental barriers tied to daily habits begin to lift, opening the mind to a state of potentially higher awareness. In this phase, emotional resonance acts both as a unifying force and as a momentum that guides consciousness forward. This momentum, shaped by our well-nurtured habits and intentions, reflects something like quantum coherence, where multiple potential outcomes align into a unified experience. These seeds of past actions and experiences carry the emotional and perceptual tones that shape how we respond to life. The clearer the mind, the more harmonized these seeds become, creating an experience free from usual attachments and divisions. At this stage, clarity reaches what is known as the clear light mind, a state that reflects the pure essence of consciousness, like a mirror revealing its true nature. Ordinarily, consciousness interprets experiences through a dualistic filter, meaning we see everything as either self or other. This dualistic view categorizes what we encounter with labels like fear, desire or attachment, shaping a self that identifies with possession and control. Similar to how realistic observation can determine perceptional reality by narrowing possibilities into a specific experience, 
Our dualistic perception tends to filter and limit the true impact of our actions on ourselves and others. However, in the process of dissolution, such constructs are dismantled. Consciousness becomes saturated with the cumulative weight of past actions, both beneficial and harmful. For those who have transcended duality through disciplined meditation, the clear light mind emerges as pure clarity, free from habitual markers. For others conditioned by duality, clarity arises with familiar contours, shaped by long-standing karmic filters. In scientific terms, this process is like quantum measurement, where our habits and moral inclinations determine which karmic patterns take shape as our final conscious experiences, setting the course for what comes next. Those patterns with the most intense impact collapse into a vivid experience, guiding the mind's next progression. Through this transformative phase, the usual barriers that obscure deeper understanding begin to fade, revealing karmic imprints and preparing consciousness for its next stage of existence. This stage is a profound moment for introspective insight and transformation. Here, the core essence of one's being stands exposed. The interplay between clarity and emotional resonance invites consciousness to reconcile with the entirety of its life journey. In this convergence, each mental imprint informs the transitional experience, shaping how consciousness interprets emerging imagery and emotional tones. Through this teaching, we see a vision that expands the understanding of karmic processes, suggesting that consciousness traverses a path beyond fixed notions of self, time and space, bridging the realms of science and spirituality in a unified view of existence.